but lakes and locks aren't the only features created by glaciation in the UK. This is Red Tarn. It's one of hundreds of examples of lakes that form in depressions called corries or cums. These depressions are found in upland areas that used to be glaciated. Like the ridges either side of Red Tarn, corries are the result of thousands of years of glacial erosion. Most of these depressions would have begun life as small hollows. They were often north-facing. It meant that any snow that collected in them was shaded from the sun. Underneath the snow, freeze-thaw action loosened material, which was then removed by meltwater, a process called nivation. As the hollow became deeper, glacial ice would have begun to form, speeding up the process of erosion still further. Abrasion and plucking, especially at the back of the corrie wall, would have combined with frost shattering to remove more material, deepening the hollow. Erosion was even more effective thanks to the rotational movement of the ice, scouring the base and back wall of the corrie, deepening it further, wearing it back into the mountain and creating a lip at the front. What started as a small hollow would over thousands of years become a deep bowl shape. And when the glaciers retreated, these bowls filled with water creating the lakes, or tarns, we see today. The ridge to the south of Red Tarn is called Striding Edge. It's what's called an arete, and was formed when two corries eroded back into the mountain side by side. If three corries combine, they can produce a pyramidal peak, like the Matterhorn in Switzerland. But glaciers haven't just shaped the UK's landscapes through erosion. They've changed it by moving and depositing material too.